Hi, I'm Tom Bell, and I build websites. I don't build websites that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars or that take thousands of hours and large teams of people to develop. I don't spend my days in an office with a senior web developer sign on the door, charged with spending all my working hours crafting ultra-elaborate, richly interactive, supremely search-optimized, irresistibly conversion-funneled, billion-eyeball-collecting websites. No. I build simple websites of the sort you can create in your spare time or perhaps over a full afternoon. I mess around with them while hanging out at coffee shops in the evenings after dinner, maybe a little more time on a weekend afternoon. I make them for my own hobbies, for my friends, and for clients with modest budgets. One of my clients, also one of my best friends, pays me in monthly installments of home-baked goods. Her name is Tara Alon McVoy, and she's the author of some wonderful young adult novels. Here's the website I made for her. As you can see, it doesn't have fancy animations or other bells and whistles, but it does a perfectly good job spreading the word about her books. I'm also a modern dancer, another hobby of mine, and I made and manage the website for a dance company I'm in, Crossover Movement Arts. It's also nothing fancy, but it gives us a place to post information about our ongoing classes and upcoming shows. And hey, if you're in town for one, stop on by. And I run a small performing arts incubator called Minecart, currently housed in an old classroom of a long unused middle school. Here's the little site I set up to explain the incubator, promote the work of artists who use it, and accept donations through an embedded PayPal button. For several years, I and two friends published a little literary magazine called the Duck and Herring Company's Pocket Field Guide. It was a lot of fun. I built and maintained the site for that, offering up samples of our latest stories, information about our readings, funny podcasts, and opportunities to order the magazine. The magazine made no money, so if we'd had to pay someone to build a website, we would have had to do without. But because I could build it for us, we had a pretty vibrant online presence. Eventually, we mothballed the magazine and the website went with it, but for the years we needed it, we had a website. And there have been many other such sites over the years. None of them have changed the world. None of them were trying to. They served simple purposes, to share some information, some ideas, some something with the world. And because I can create simple websites, I'm able to help get those ideas out there into the world. And I have fun doing so, too. So these are the sorts of sites I'm going to show you how to build in this course. At the end of the course, you'll know everything you need to know to create such sites and take them live on the web. You will not, at the end of this course, be ready to build the next CNN.com, Facebook, or Twitter. You'll not be ready to move into that senior web developer office, but if your ambitions lie that way, you will have taken the first important steps in the right direction. You'll have a solid foundation in the basics of HTML and CSS, two of the three most commonly used languages in web development. JavaScript, by the way, is the third. And you'll be ready to take on more advanced courses in web development. Or perhaps you'll decide that simple websites are all you really want to build, in which case you'll get started building them for yourself, for your friends and family, maybe even for some clients with simple website needs. If you're really, really lucky, some of them may even pay you in home-baked goods. In section one of this course, I'll go over some fundamental concepts of web development, and I'll guide you through setting up your tools, a plain text editor and a web browser. Yep, that's all you'll need. In section two, I'll teach you basic hypertext markup language, HTML, the language in which you will code your site's content. HTML is how you tell web browsers that a certain block of text is a paragraph, a certain file is a picture, a word should be hyperlinked to another page, and so forth. HTML is about the facts and logic of your site's information. In section three, I'll teach you basic cascading style sheets, CSS, the language in which you code the presentation of your site's content. How much blank space after each paragraph? How large should the picture be displayed? What color background would you like? If HTML is just the facts, CSS is how you make it all look pretty. In section four, I'll teach you how to take your site live. Prior to this section, you'll save your website locally on your own computer's hard drive, and only you will be able to see it. In this section, you'll learn how to register a domain name, sign up for web hosting service, and upload your site so that anyone in the world with an internet connection can see it. Once you've done all that, I'll have a few closing thoughts for you. Some philosophy of simple website design, advice for how to keep learning and developing your skills. 
and then you'll be ready to go off and make those simple sites. I think website design is a lot of fun. I hope you'll find that you enjoy it too. I look forward to seeing the websites you develop with what you learn. You ready to dive in? Okay, let's go.